Good morning. I'm on site here at Electronica 2024, and today I'm pleased to be joined by Alex Gerfer, who is the CTO of Worth Electronics. And today we're going to be talking about uh, more efficient power systems and the company's new power inductor. So thank you very much for joining me, Alex. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Give us a brief introduction. Okay, yeah, I'm Alexander Gerfer, as you mentioned, uh, CTO of World Electronic ISOs. We are uh, a yeah, European manufacturer, global manufacturer of power inductors, magnetics, EMI components, but even connectors, optoelectronics, um, yeah, wide range of components, which we are also represent in DigiKey, of course. Um, I'm working now 27 years in World Electronic, and by heart, I'm a design engineer, so I design my own hardware. Um, yeah, and I'm happy to be here today. Fantastic, lots of experience. So tell us a little bit more about, about the company, about Worth Electronic. Yeah, with Electronic, we are really focused on uh, customer solutions. So any kind of hardware you want to design, our aim is to support this best. So we manufacture on our own. We have logistics all around the globe for the yeah, higher volumes, so to say. And of course, you as a partner for the smaller volumes to be accessible, to be reachable for our customers. So besides components, we, we really offer a wide range of support, technical support, technical solutions, application notes, also trainings we do online with you or by ourselves. So a lot of things to make the, the designer's life easier. So manufacturer with a lot of service and logistics on top. Fantastic. And we'll find out a little bit more about that today. So I understand the company has recently released a new power inductor called the uh, WEMXGI. So what makes this product unique? The unique point is um, when you talk about efficient power supplies, efficiency overall, and the magnetics are under pressure. As we know with the new high-speed switching devices like gallium nitride, silicium carbide, you have to have at least the last thing in front of more efficient power supplies is the magnetics still. And so we were under high pressure to develop a new power inductor with again more efficiency, lower DCR in the package size given. And that was really then what we did bring up with the MXGI. So really 25% lower losses, 47% reduction in DCR. So really a lot of uh, effort, um, um, yeah. So solution on the design to get better. Fantastic. And in your, your product, uh, your data sheets, you often specify the performance rated current. So, I mean, to me, that's, that's a new term in the industry. So can you explain it for us? Well, the, uh, the um, inductor is really, how to say, the unknown product still outside. You know, many engineers hate inductors and magnetics. And the thing is, in this outside world, it's the term of rated current is a non-defined term. I can define it by myself. Manufacturer A to B to Z can do and define it by its own definitions. And there we, we are focusing more now here on a standard and why performance rated current. So if I want to drive really high currents, high efficient power designs, all the things have to work together. So the switches, so the semiconductor switches, the PCB board design, and as well the inductor. So we, we say, we made a special measurement setup, which you can then really compare apple by apple, so to say, uh, where we put the inductor on and measure under given, yeah, this, also definitions on board size, copper size, and height and width, um, how we measure the DCR, uh, the rated current, and this we call then performance rated current. So if your PCB board, easy spoken, your, your, your line on the PCB board is too thin, how to drive 60 amps, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to make it working, performance-wise right working, and then the inductor fitting to that performance. And that's where we put the new term performance rated current to make it more comparable now. Mm -hmm. Fantastic, that makes sense. And, and I heard that you provide all engineers with a tool to calculate um, the rated current for their own application. So how does this work? What was missing is the last gap then from this um, yeah, performance rate the current to a thermal model. Yeah, what, how is the thermal behavior of that inductor in the given package size? And now, how do I have to define my printed circuit board PCB trace width and height to yeah, be able to carry this high current without exceed heating on the power device or with very low losses overall? And so if you have then your given design parameter set, this rate of current or performance rate of current you want to drive, uh, then the calculation tool gives you a suggestion of so much copper trace width and thickness is needed to make it really high performing mm -hmm. and not seen on the device itself. Okay, so this tool, which is called uh, Red Expert, I mean, it sounds like a fantastic tool for engineers. So what else can engineers get out of it? 
Well, we started uh, Red Expert really customer driven. So customers were challenging us. Um, as I said, the magnetics are the well-hated component, so to say. <laughs> yeah. So really because they had the big issue of how high is my loss, my AC loss of the device I'm using on my board. Um, you found yeah, mathematic models for it, but when you put it on your PCB board and measure it, it was totally differing in a, in a high um, failure rate. So what we did here is we, we went into measurements on application measurements. So with the really driving currents, frequencies and waveforms on it. So we defined here the best AC core loss model we can say for the industry. Mm -hmm. That's where the start, it started from. And the overall idea in Red Expert is to say, select, compare and simulate. So we can now have tools for let's say optoelectronics to make the right LED brightness and, and wavelength selection for the so-called so digital IC LED. Mm -hmm. We have EMI filter designer, so I, I have now an EMI problem. I come from a measurement, how to make the EMI filter best working for the frequency given, for my problem frequency given. Um, you give some design parameter set and then it comes up with solutions, how the filter should look like or could look like. And of course with parameters in behind, so this capacitor, this EMI bead, this common mode choke, and so it's it's really a minute, so to say, for your solution, and even more things to come in the tool yeah. and to explore. Fantastic. And, and following on from that, how do you collaborate with customers during the, the design phase to ensure efficient power solutions are achieved? Best is to stay in, in connection, right? So the tool itself, you can do your design. If you are struggling or the parameter doesn't sound logical in Red Expert, you can send the link to us, to our team. So a field application engineer can contact you or we give some additional design notes to our customers. So the door is open then from there to go live into a face-to-face -face discussion or a yeah, joint meeting, right? Mm -hmm. And as an engineer yourself then, Alex, what are the most common challenges engineers face when designing power systems and, and how do your components help, help address those issues? How the challenge is really um, efficiency, overall efficiency, as said before. So how to make my, my design low loss and then to in the same time how do I ensure long lifetime on it so it what we offer here is to revisit the design this design I've made a design let's revisit together with our engineers to look after we see many times an electrolytic capacitor near a high switching power device and with high heating into it so is this really the best place to, to put the capacitor, right? So revis revisit the designs and discuss with us. So not only online, also you can optimize online, of course, you can, in Red Expert, make several uh, design solutions working, but also have the, um, yeah, the, the engineers talk, so to say. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. And, and what does, um, or how does the Worth Electronic approach sort of efficient power design for different applications, such as um, industrial, automotive, and, and sort of consumer electronics as well. Yeah, the basics is of course everywhere the same, right? Efficiency is everywhere the same challenge. For automotive, we have a bit more higher yeah, requests on product uh, lifetime, on also we call it under the um, mission profile, you have a bit more, let's say, mechanical things you have to, to take care about. So how um, high the component has to be built up to make it working so it's we have then the customized solutions in this process, mm -hmm. but we can say from the standard off the shelf it's not working, then we invite you to go on the customized solution where we check really on, on the designer's side what are your kind of freedoms in, in height and width and board space uh, to make it best working. Then a lot of material choices on top come into the game, which eventually from the off-shelf part is not given. Mm -hmm. um, and then the discussion about what is the optimum switching frequency range we are working in. So there are a lot of influencing points where you decide from the from the beginning of your design I'm on a good track or on a more complicated track. Yeah? Parasitics come into the game, EMI behavior. So that's why, why I say um, engineers and technicians, they have to be faster every time now in this, these times and we invite them early to talk to us uh, to, to go over the designs and see what else we can eventually find for the same solution already in place. Yeah, and speaking of that, I'm interested to hear what emerging trends in, in power designer are influencing your component designer or Earth Electronics. It's switching frequency is one thing, of course. So how, how small can the device get? Then we have new voltage ranges. So when we go into battery systems, 
We have exceeding high voltages now, 800 volts and even more DC, which is a challenge for the winding design. Um, when you talk about 24 volt, it's very easy, so to say, to do, but 800 volt is really a challenge. You have to have in place some kind of mechanical limitations yeah, and to be aware of. So, as I said, switching frequency, size, voltages, current behaviors, losses, Every time the same, and as I said before, the magnetics are under pressure because now the switches are very good. Got him night at some carbide, really good switches in one device, high voltage, able to switch. What for an inductor can be still a challenge, yeah. Fantastic. And finally, then, Alex, why don't you tell us a little bit about your partnership with DigiKey and how you see that benefiting your customers? It's the availability yeah, for customers if I have an idea how to get this idea working. And we have a wide range of products, but not as wide and, and, and so depth like DigiKey. So if I have an idea, I can immediately go, also let's say we have made this select, compare and simulate from the simulation to my breadboard design. And here is needed that I get these things bundled fast to me you know, with my PCB board and then build it up, make my measurements and have an, an, even a good uh, library where you also offer a lot of uh, trainings in behind how to do, how to choose, how to select make my life as an engineer, as a technician, easier. Easier from first idea to prototyping to even yeah, more build of the device. That is what is really needed. What I found in my engineering career was these old days sometimes really hard to do. You couldn't get one or the other device because you were a too small customer, right? Mm -hmm. And we break this gap and you break the gap. You say, no, whatever you are, you can get it from, from me, from my, my catalog. Yeah? You find it, you get it. Yeah. Don't worry. We send it to you in a really high speed. Um, it's really impressive still to see. We are, we are not so fast as you. We try to be fast as a manufacturer, but we cannot be as fast as you guys. Yeah, fantastic. Well, that's fantastic to hear. Thank you very much. And thank you also for your insights. It's been a real pleasure speaking with you. Thank you very much. Thank and you. Enjoy uh, the show. Enjoy the show. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much.